Yeah, I think it does, but I think there's always a target on Team USA's back, whether it's wrestling or any other sport. You know, everyone wants to shove it up our, you know what, just because we're the United States of America, we're the greatest country in the world. So whether we're, you know, winning the world championships or not, everyone wants to beat USA, whether it's, you know, on the, on the mat or whatever sport it is. So, I think there's always a target on our back, whether it's a sport or anything else. Does so being is it for you, knowing that I mean, you're going to be a carver where these guys watched you for years, and now they get to see you in a Team USA uniform, and it's probably going to be a rowdier crowd than maybe some of these other international Um, I mean, I don't know how rowdy it's going to be compared to other international events. I don't know how many international events you've been to, but uh, I've been to some pretty rowdy ones. Uh, I mean, it, it, it might compare, it might not. We'll see. You know, we'll see if that crowd shows up and if they can get rowdy. Um, Does it help you from a comfort standpoint at all, being in familiar surroundings? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely helps. I mean, sleeping in my own bed, you know, having my own sauna and and uh, my own room and, and my teammates around, there's definitely a comfort to it. Um, but I mean, I'm not a comfort kind of guy. Wherever I'm at, I'm comfortable, you know. I'm, I don't get too comfortable anywhere necessarily, so. Um, it, it is nice, but, but we don't we don't bank on that. You know, we're 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 here to wrestle, and and, and kind of comfort kind of goes out the window when you step on the mat. Uh, everything else is over. Yeah, irrelevant. What do you think about the talent that's on this roster that released the full roster yesterday? Um, you know, yeah, thoughts on just what kind of lineup Team USA is putting out there? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of tough guys out there. Um, I mean, obviously, we a lot of these guys were medalists at the Worlds and, and we put a team together that won the Worlds and a lot of those guys were turning back for the World Cup and we got some some big names you know in addition but uh, I mean we'll see if, if they show up uh, I mean I mean we, we can talk about talent all day you know it's nice to have that talent but we got to go, go out there and perform so I think we got a good team to, to go out there and win it but we got to go out there and perform what did you think of uh, Spencer Lee's performance this year? It was good. Did you get a chance to watch him quite a bit with how busy you are? Of course. I mean, uh, I mean busy is, uh, I don't know, busy is the right word. I mean, um, of course I was watching. I was right there the whole, every step of the way. So I, I know what it's about. Did you help him at all? I mean, did you, did he come to you? You've been through this already. I mean, I don't know how much help he needs. He's, he's pointing in the right direction. He's, he's a great individual. How much has being able to That's just wrestle freestyle for the last uh, year or so helped you develop in that sense? Uh, I don't know how much it's helped or not. Um, I mean, wrestling is wrestling. You go out there, you throw the guy down, and you score points, you try to put him on his back. Uh, folk style, freestyle, Greco, it doesn't matter. It's wrestling is wrestling. Um, I mean, I made a world team right out of college, and I got a silver medal right out of college. You know, I've been wrestling freestyle pretty much my whole life. You know, I, I'm good on my feet. I proved that in college. Um, you know, always getting better, obviously, freestyle-wise, uh, strategically, uh, technique-wise. But wrestling is wrestling. It doesn't matter whether it's folk style or freestyle. You've got to go out there and put your opponent on hard. How important is the gold for you? I mean, that's kind of a silly question. How important is it? I mean, it, it's it's everything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's everything, especially coming up short at the World Championships, you know, uh, silver does not sit well. You know, when you're getting congratulated for getting second best or first loser, that doesn't really sit very well. You know, getting congratulated with gold around your neck, that feel pretty dang good. So, uh, how good, how much does it mean? I mean, it, I mean, it means everything. What do you expect? The thing is, with the UWW moving to 10 weights, it's really, really... Um, I got to be careful what I say because I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, let's just say this: the thing that's impressive to me is that with ten weights and in this country, you have a situation. For example, in our room, you have a situation to put Clark at 61 kilo, Gilman at 57. Uh, it's kind of like Clark at 25, Gilman at 33. Everybody said we were crazy for recruiting them in the same room and they were going to be the same weight. This, that. No, 10 weights allows that separation. And 10 weights allows that separation. So you have a 57, you have a 61, you have a 65 kilo guy. Or you have a situation where you got Burrow at 74, then you got Dake, then you got Taylor. You know, and they're not, it's not where. Um, Dake and Burroughs are in the same weight. Now, in the Olympic Games, they're going to, in the Olympic year, they're going to have to come together or figure out 
how, how they're going to be able to make that work. But right now, in the middle of the cycle, in between with the World Cup, we got, we got an extremely tough, tough lineup that it's going to be hard for any world power to deal with. Just It's that simple. Uh, we've seen what the Olympic trials and stuff has, has brought to town. What do, you, what do you think the World Cup, how that would compare? I think that there is a reputation here. I think that Gable statue uh, says a lot. Uh -huh. um, he's still alive and he's got a statue up. I think that says a lot. I think the, the international community knows Coach Gable's name. They know Iowa City, Iowa when we were in Vegas. You know, we had the Turks talking about why in Vegas, why not Iowa City? You know, those are that's a real thing. This isn't something that's propaganda. This isn't something that the University of Iowa or that this office is putting out there. This is real. This is the wrestling community in in the country of America, and Iowa City, Iowa is it. And if you don't like it, you should embrace it. You should not be like, oh no, it's not what we are. No, it is. It is Iowa City, Iowa, and that that's the beauty of it. And uh, we've set records with the trials. We've set records with the 2016 trials. And now we got the World Cup coming. Schaumburger wants to bring the juniors in. And eventually we want to bring in a, um, a world championship. And, you know, that's Iowa City. That's what we do. That's what our fans provide us. They're, they're, them paying attention to the sport has allowed this to happen. And we couldn't say thank you enough to those people. What kind of growth have you seen from... Gilman, uh, you know, since the World Championships? I think that he knows something was left undone. So I think the growth piece is that as good as he was and as ready as he was in Paris, that I got to be even that much more because I was ready to win. If I'm Thomas Gilman, I'm thinking I was ready to win. And you know what? And I still had something left undone. So I got to do an even better job of preparation. I got to do a better job of of getting myself ready for that next level. And this is a step in that. He's gonna see some really, really good competition right out of the gate against India. You know, he was down big to that guy in the club cups in, in uh, Tehran a couple months ago this last fall and had to come back from behind and catch a takedown and a turn turn to beat him. So it, this is an extremely important event and a, and a great, great test for him to see where he's at right now. Does it help him? Is it help? How much does it help? Absolutely, it helps. I mean, you have the best competition coming to Iowa City, Iowa, in his backyard. Yeah. It helps him. It helps him because it's another event. It helps him because his, he aspires every day to be the very best in the world, and that test is coming, and it's right around the corner, and he knows that he's going to have to be ready at another level to be able to, to um, what do you want to call it, uh, accomplish or win the test. And pass the test and at a at very, home. very high level. You get to get, take and the test our, at it's home. It's in his backyard. It's right here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. You can't beat it.